Mr. Shea with Black Tree TV, standing here with Manny Fresh. How you doing today, Manny? I'm good. How you doing, baby? I'm blessed, baby. Yeah. I want to ask you, how do you feel about the state of hip hop? Uh, you know, it's different. You know, but it's another generation. You know, and it's my job, I guess, you know, to go with what, some, what music is doing. You know, but for me, I ain't gonna say I'm totally happy with it, but I ain't mad at it either. Yeah. Because the reality is that we can talk about this, but there are young people dying right. on a daily basis. Right. And our thousand. young people are being labeled as deviant right. when they copy. White kids are being labeled as rambunctious. No Trouble. doubt. And so how do you deal with that piece? Amnesty International said that the same offense that a young white Johnny and Jill do, don't do that anymore, whereas Shaniqua and Shaquille are sent to detention, which is a warehouse for jail, which becomes an uh, introduction to prison. But here's the problem. It's not that hip-hop has to bear a disproportionate weight. You can't, on the one hand, say we're the most deep and profound global phenomenon that has changed the culture of people around the world. You go to South Africa and Soweto, you go to Israel, they got Pac and Biggie. Never been to Brooklyn, never been to Bedford-Stuyvesant, but they understand B-I-G-P-O-P-P-A, no info for the D-E-A. You know, they understand that. Now, you can't, at one, you can't on the one hand, say that you possess the the linguistic and rhetorical genius to transform the consciousness of people Hell and at the no. same time say you bear no responsibility. Exactly. You right. gotta bear some responsibility. Let me finish. Let me finish. So, and I know you agree with this. I'm saying to you, it is tragic to me that a Snoop Dogg video can have more global access than a W.E.B. Du Bois book, but that's the world we live in. So the question is, it's not that hip hop is responsible for educating the world, but it is responsible for educating itself and not reproducing the pathology of what it inherited. If if you're different and you transform and you involve, then you make a difference. And I'll say this in ending here. It is not that hip hop should be made 21, 22, 23, 24 year old young people are now becoming responsible for our race, no. But you do have an impact upon the minds of young people who look at a Nelly or a T.I. and look up to them. I came from the same street. Brother, I'm from the west side of Detroit. West side. I was born in a set. Hold on. My brother, let me tell you. My brother is serving life in prison for a murder we believe he didn't commit, but for murder right now. Don't tell me that I don't know because I got a PhD from Princeton. I might not be spitting on a wax, but I'm dropping mad science. I'm a PIMP, a public intellectual right. with moral principles. That's what I'm doing, too. I want to follow up on what Dr. Dyson is talking about. And because what I hear him saying is what I hear people saying all the time. But who is mentoring artists? Mm -hmm. Because it's not like some purple haze comes down out the sky when you sign a deal that says, now I'm enlightened. But see, that's the thing. Hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, me and T.I., we don't have to be here. There's no way, like, like you saying, with the, yes, with, with the brunt of, of what, what is going on, like, and I'm that's not, your I'm responsibility not, as an artist in the human I'm, not, wait, I'm, wait, not worried about a, I'm not worried about a corporate sponsor. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I'm not worried about right. that. Now, would I like to have him right. when I leave here? Of course I would like to have him when I leave here. <laughs> but am I worried about him? I mean, I'm not worried about him because why? Because every time this mm. issue comes up, you playing my video. You feel what I'm saying? Every time this video, every time this issue comes up, my name is mentioned. And as a person, as a man, I feel like, well, hold up. You feel what I'm saying? Let, let people understand who I am because I feel like I'm being unjustly, you know what I'm saying, judged by something that, that is four minutes long. Now, you feel what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Because T.I., I want you to come in and then I got to get Kim. I still need to deal with care. how do we deal with artists who need to be, now, if, if you want artists now, to get, give a different message, don't get who me touches wrong. them? Don't get me wrong now. If you ask me, do, do, do some artists need to be held responsible for their actions and for their lyrics and, and for them taking it too far sometimes? Absolutely. If you ask me, uh, 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 have we made mistakes as a, as a genre for uh, uh, glorifying this group or that group when, you know, when they don't deserve it? Of course we have. But you can't, you can't, you can't blame that on everybody. We got, I, I'm taking responsibility by, by sitting up here. I'm going against the grain right what's, now. Ain't nobody else up what's here. Tip, what's Tip Drill? Ain't nobody else up here. That's my Nelly, point. Nelly, ain't nobody else scared. up here. Nelly, let me ask you this. What's Tip Drill a mistake? What's Tip Drill a mistake? Period. What's Tip Drill a mistake? I, I don't, me personally, wait a minute. Me Hold personally, on. do I feel like Tip Drill? I don't yeah. feel like Tip Drill was a mistake. All I feel right. like Tip Drill was made for an adult program that came on in an adult time that was parental advisory, you know what I'm saying, that was right, stated right. before you even look at this. Now, a lot of people had a problem with the Tip Drill because of the credit card swipe. Okay, but the credit card swipe. Was at the end of the, the credit card swipe was at the end of the video. Wait a minute, the 
the credit card swipe was at the end of the video. So you tell me you sat through four minutes of the video, and then all of a sudden, when it came to that credit card swipe, that's when you felt the pause. But let me tell you, I mean, Who I did what I do to do the And to be that as it made, the idea of the old credit card scene was the young ladies. Wait, Jackie. Wait, wait, wait. Young ladies. Internalized white supremacy in a And I'm going to let the young lady come in and have the last word. Can't be serious. I'm, I'm going to just say this. You know, we're talking about Chip Drill, which has unfortunately defined Nelly's career now. Because why? His star quality was so much bigger than all of the other artists that were doing it. So someone said, aha, we got them. We got them because Nelly's selling millions of records. So all the while, while hip hop was doing this and degrading women, it was okay. But we need to look at that now as an example. And we need to tell Nelly how important it is that maybe he should regret it. Why? Because being Nelly, you're at a different level than a lot of other hip hop artists. And that's the thing. Well, because no, you but have a lot of when you swipe no, no, no. a credit card down a woman's behind, it shows the relationship between slavery, where women were sold on an auction block for crass commercialism, and her ass, which now becomes the commodity to be consumed by a black man. That's what man. I'm saying. But who, who's, 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 Said that by looking at the TV. She didn't. I did. But what I'm saying was that's your that, interpretation. But what was you doing there. up at three in the morning watching uncut video? <laughs> oh, I want to. Because I'm a cultural critic. That's my job. <laughs> I don't to look at that. I changed my life. I don't want to die in the street. I want to die in the hood. I want to make it out. I'm Tashia with Black Tree TV, standing here with the one and only Dr. Michael Dyson. I'm blessing you. I'm doing fine as well. Well, I want to say you really did make an impact on America versus hip hop. It sounds like you're very educated on the hip hop. And I tried. You know, I raised my son here. This is my son, Michael Eric Dyson, number two. We grew up together. I was a teen father. So because I wanted to listen to what he was listening to, I wanted to monitor it, be able to engage in uh, instructive conversation and intelligent conversation. Yeah. So I wanted to learn as much as I could about it. How do you feel about the Genesis 6 and the injustice with Michael Bell going back to jail recently? It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the repressive state mechanism that tries to keep young black men under the foot of an unjust system is ridiculous. I spoke to Michael Bell's father earlier today, and I told him and the other parents of Genesis 6 that we're with you because we as Americans must stand up. Instead of holding congressional hearings on hip hop, we ought to be trying to scrutinize the unjust and immoral and unethical practices of a government that tends to target young black men without giving them any sense of justice.